Derek, how are you today? I'm doing great, man. It's the Arnold Classic. Let's go. It's there exciting, go. man. How many times have you heard that air apparent? I mean, that question's got to be super old, and I'm going to add to it. What, what does that make you think? Right, right. So, air apparent, I mean, that's uh, that's that's a great motivator for me, and a lot of people ask me about the pressure that comes with that, and to be honest with you, man, I don't even think about any pressure, because the way I define pressure is it's not tangible. It's something you really put on yourself. So, if I let the pressure get to me, then, um, yeah, man, I just don't even think about, like, uh, having to live up to the hype. I just think about being my best, and that's all I can do, and um, that's what I expect for myself. So I can take pride in me being my best and nothing about this air appearance type thing. Um, sure. I know there's a lot of guys coming because the door is open for everyone, and I'm the one that's going to be there to uh, make sure I close each one of those. But, you know, i got to say, in 2018, there was a lot of hype behind you, a lot of naysayers. And, you know, the last two guys on that stage were you and Flex Lewis. Yeah. So you lived up to it. And I personally believe you pushed Flex harder right. than anyone else that ever pushed him before. Yeah. So that having been said, I'm going to put you on the spot here. I want to ask you, <laughs> who are two guys in the 212 that have got your attention? I know it's all about being the best you, but in terms of your fellow competitors, who are two guys that we should be looking at uh, in 2019? Well, you know what? I'm actually really excited to see uh, Eduardo Correa come back. Uh, I hear that he's uh, he's getting ready for a show this year and on his on his comeback. So, uh, you know, Mr. Super Slice is one of those guys that you know he's always coming and shredded. And uh, who knows? I mean, maybe maybe he'll be back at the Olympia. And uh, I would say, of course, Kamal. I mean, Kamal is a great competitor, and um, I look forward to seeing what he brings this year. I know that. I'm making solid improvements, and I'm sure he is too. Um, but that's a really tough question to even ask no, me because I, know, I, know. I, I, think I'm, I think about myself and how I can progress myself and be my best, and that's what bodybuilding is. It's all about, of course, uh, self-progress and not worrying about another competitor. Um, and I think that's, that's what's going to breed a champion uh, in any sport, but especially bodybuilding. No, and I think what's great is that you have a lost your humility, even though you know, everybody's looking at you to get the title this year. You still take all the competition seriously. Yeah. It's still very much an uphill battle, so I think that's awesome. Now, next month, you're going to be at the Columbus Supplement Store and the Louisville Supplement Store, correct? Correct. Uh, yeah, I'll be uh, Louisville, Col Col sorry, Columbus, Indiana, and uh, Louisville, Kentucky um, stores for uh, my friend Rob. Rob uh, Peters, right. Yeah, yeah. But let's go back to what you were saying. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't ever... Um, I don't ever discount the competition. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't ever um, slack on my training or anything like that. I'm still training as if Lex Lewis, and Jose Raymond are coming back this year. Who knows? They may or may not. They they said they're retired, but I'm gonna train as if they're still there and I'm knocking on their door. So that's gonna get me excited for this year again. I told you I'd only talk to you for a minute. I think we far exceeded that. Last question. What are your thoughts on? Charles the Tank Dixon competing here in the Open. Dude, I love it. I am rooting for that guy. Uh, he's representing the 212. He's a phenomenal bodybuilder. Uh, arguably could have won last year in the 212 here. So for him to go ahead and, and step into the Open and still do the Arnold because he loves it. I watched his interview uh, last night and he's just, he loves the Arnold Classic. And he said he wasn't even gonna come here unless he competed. So that just proves how much the 212 guys really love the Arnold. I know I haven't done it myself. Uh, whenever it was available last year, I really wanted to do it this year, uh, but they took it out. So uh, who knows? I bet they'll bring it back next year. Definitely. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. We're here at the Animal Booth. You have an awesome relationship yeah. with Animal, a great sponsor of yours. Yeah. For Derek Lumsford, Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com.